perform live, use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Let's set the stage. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, <laughs> whose misadventured piteous overthrows do with their death bury their parents' strife. The fearful passage of their death-marked love and continuance of their parents' rage, which but their children's end not could remove, is now the two hours' traffic of our stage. The which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. Welcome to Heat Wave! <laughs> <laughs> I wish that Jairus' whole segment was just him, like, reading Romeo and Juliet. I, I mean, that's up to him. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's his 15 minutes to do whatever he wants. Uh, anyways, I mean, MIT hi, has all I'm, of I'm Michelle Belcher, and I'm joined with Brit. And What? <laughs> oh, wow, I just said your real name. What are you doing? You bleep that out. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck you! Might as well just put my address on the internet. All right, Brittany sat in the wild. You tried to dox her. You mean the Jesus. you mean the ninety Brittany Mills in our city? Yeah. <laughs> But you're right. Okay. Brittany Saturn. Hey, Michelle's trying to get me to talk about buying a fucking house. Like, people can't look up that publicly available information and then show was, up at my fucking house. I, I straight up asked after that and said, do you don't want to talk about it? And yeah, I said no. And I never came back to that subject again. And now here you are bringing it up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guess who that motherfucker is? It's Jairus Mitchell. <laughs> Once more from the top. Prologue. <laughs> Two households, both alike in dignity, okay. in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge, break to new I, mutiny, can we, where civil blood will makes you guys civil help hands me here? unclean. <laughs> From forth, the fatal loins of these two foes. You gotta get there faster. star-crossed <laughs> lovers take I was going to include life, it the first time, but now. Whose misadventured, I, piteous <laughs> overthrows do with their death, bury their parents' strife. I'm, I'm throwing virtual roses. The fearful roses. passage of their death-marked love <laughs> and continuance of their parents' rage, which but their children's end not could be removed is now the two hours traffic of our stage the which if you with patient ears attend what here shall miss our toil shall strive to mend wow he did it he did it again Bravo. he sure did it again congratulations also uh, Hutch is here <laughs> yeah Hutch is here did you know that it's Bra Chris it's Bravo. Hutch Hutchison Bravo! <laughs> Marvelous! <I> ha <laughs> Encore! <laughs> so we're back after a two week break, Scene and uh, Jairus has joined Verona, the community theater a public club. Place. <laughs> Enter Samson and Gregory of the House Capulet, armed with swords and bucklers. <laughs> Samson, Gregory, oh my word, will not carry coals. Gregory, no, for then we shall be colliers. Samson, I mean, and we be in collier, will draw. <laughs> I fucking. I feel like ugh. this would. Yeah, it's terrible this. to just read it. It's better to see it like act at, <laughs> acted out on like stage. But like reading yeah. Shakespeare is so terrible. I hated it. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, gotta let's just put up the entry scene of Romeo plus Juliet. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, I John really Liguizamo appreciate how fast tough. you were for me jumping off of set up the scene. That was I'm really impressed. It was like right then and there you were ready. Yeah, I had that locked and loaded. <sighs> you know, <laughs> I'm still impressed. That's that's why. So Michelle gets really pissed at me because sometimes I do the clacky clacky, and that's what the clacky clacky allows me to do. <laughs> The clacky clacky can be done on your phone because it adds so much extra time for me in work. I've got so many monitors in front of me, though, Michelle. Yeah, but you are le legitimately adding, like, hours of work to my workflow. <laughs> Although you do end up always sounding the best because you I have to I go through your audio second writers. by second. <laughs> Don't lie. It's because of those dulcet yeah, I've got tones. an ancient... 
I've got a USB typewriter connected to my computer, and that's how I type. <laughs> the sad they thing is, I know those exist. Make those. those exist. Oh, we used to sell a typewriter at Michael's yep. in the like scrapbooking yeah. aisle. No way. I was like, who the fuck? <laughs> the book is- aisle of Michael's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, books I- and how to make books. Here's a typewriter. <laughs> I hated restocking that aisle. It was terrible. Well, everything's like super heavy, right? <laughs> yeah, the paper was really heavy and I just hated it. What's in the book aisle at Michael's? The scrapbook bills? The, oh, the scrapbooking okay. aisle. Oh, okay. Yeah. We also had a book aisle too. It was just full of coloring books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, coloring. Man. It's a craft too. Yeah. When you're so anxious that the only thing that can calm you down is going back to fifth grade and or five years old and being like, you know what, I'm just going to color inside the lines. That's a bit of bi- a bit of chaos that I can you know, I can organize. When the adult coloring books first came out, I was like, oh, this sounds really cool. Like I loved coloring as a kid. Maybe this will be fun as an adult. And I got one, and then I started to color, and I was like, wow, what a big waste of fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, never mind. That was something that was fun when I was seven. <laughs> uh, for me, like I tried one of those like interactive apps coloring books where all you have to do is touch an empty space and fill it with color. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, this was fun for like I, I got done within like a minute uh, and a half. Yeah. Mario yeah. Like, Paint, yeah, somehow, like that one too. Oh, Mar- Mario Paint is <laughs> that one's different. <laughs> That one's Michelle, way that more fun. somehow feels like more of a waste of time than blowing an hour coloring an actual thing. <laughs> no, uh, it was. It was absolutely more of a waste of time, you- even though it was uh, less time. Was there an yeah. option to print it out and hang it on the refrigerator? <laughs> you could save it as you could, you could save it as a PDF. So yes. <laughs> This is just a picture. Oh, did you color this? That's really good. Yeah, I just touched the screen where there were empty spaces. Basically. (laughs) It was one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It was great. I deleted it, and I was glad that I just saw the one ad and didn't pay for it. (laughs) I was always a fan of the Connect the Dots activities, because I like instruction. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Hutz wants to do something and know exactly what he's doing the whole way through that process and then be at the end of it and it's done and he's just like I've got a feeling of accomplishment <laughs> I did this thing I connected all of the dots Look except at for this one what is this one spare dot <laughs> oh never mind it's a crumb <laughs> <laughs> how did you know I was always eating cookies while I was doing my <laughs> Connect the dots. <laughs> Why wouldn't you eat cookies while you're connecting dots? Oh man, this makes me want cookies, like real cookies, though. Like, Brittany, we should make some cookies. Uh, you can make some cookies. Okay, I I I got a um a dispenser for York peppermint patties from BJ's. Wait a minute. Oh, I what? thought you were gonna say a cookie dispenser. What? And I was yeah, trying me to too. Out what Wait, that would do you have to like. put a quarter in it though? No, no, it's that. It's not like an actual dispenser, <laughs> but. It, so like it, you can like pull out like this little like trough, and they can they sort of fall down into it, and then they have like mm-hmm. in the top corner you can put your price on it. Um, I've I've charged I'm charging sixty nine <laughs> cents per. Probably a little steep, Did but you that yeah. Raid huh. a restaurant or that's, something. That's a product that we should make. Would be a home vending machine and mm-hmm. sell it as a way to save money in the most t- tedious way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucked up uh, piggy bank right there. One year, my mom yeah. got Michelle like a candy dispenser yeah. for Christmas, and then I think, I think it was Jarris and Alexander. Uh-huh. Like they, they got really it. drunk and they just threw Skittles across my living room, and then they wrestled into my Christmas tree and broke an ornament. <laughs> Yeah, that was Christmas Day. That was, that was a my really birthday. fucking weird night. That was when Alexander used to get really drunk and then he wanted to wrestle people. <laughs> <laughs> and even if you didn't want to wrestle, too bad. You were going to wrestle. We streamed that. That was the situation that I was in. I did not want to wrestle, yeah. but I had no say in it. <laughs> we were streaming. We were streaming a video game because at the time I had like a tradition of streaming on my birthday. I went to bed early. <laughs> 
you just left. As soon as the Skittles started flying, you, you went upstairs and went to bed. Throwing Skittles, and you were still trying to play the video game. I was drunk too because we just got back from sushi, and I was fucked. Yeah, yeah I we was... get fighty drunk when we get sushi. <laughs> On Crimbo. And I was the DD, so I was not drunk at all. And I was like, well, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> Let me go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I just left the Skittles out on the floor. Frank was playing with them. <laughs> That's, that probably exacerbated the frustration the next day. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. That was fun, though. I really enjoy... Uh, That's actually a tradition I kind of miss. We did that for a while where um i think what me and you we did it what three or four years something like that in a row i do not remember what you're talking about at all i'm talking about going I... to go get sushi on christmas day oh okay, okay yeah i'm uh, sorry i thought yes. you were talking about streaming not wrestling yeah. and throwing skittles at each other I, I thought, that happened once i thought michelle also meant streaming on christmas and that was my least favorite part no. of anything no yeah because on christmas i am exhausted from dealing with uh like having the the public face on with family and stuff yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's just no like, fuck that noise. cool we, now we, i have to do it with the whole internet <laughs> no we did that and uh I, I learned very quickly like nope don't care a lot of people do birthday streams and like at, uh, also after that Brittany and i just we start doing christmas <clears throat> streams and that was like that well, was enough for ex- me extra hard for your birthday because you're on christmas if you were born any other day of the year it'd be no big deal because yeah. nothing's going on but because our families live across the state mm-hmm. we normally have to drive for hours mm-hmm. or some shit mm-hmm. and then just the extra exhaustiveness of christmas and then also it's your birthday so mm-hmm. it's like we should just move your birthday I mean, I'm okay with that. Uh, I I had a birthday one year. My birthday, uh, oddly enough, they moved it to another fucking holiday. I don't know why, but they did. But my parents... What holiday? uh, It was Halloween. Um, I had a Halloween birthday party where my parents made like uh, a spooky fun house in our house. And all the kids came over and they got to go through the haunted house and got candy, bopped for apples. It was fun. Mm. So like, Was that just because you'd constantly complained about having a Christmas birthday? That was my first birthday party ever. I think I was like six Mm. or seven years old. So I've had like three or four. (laughs) <laughs> when you say birthday party, do you consider like your family having a cake for you a party or no? no. Oh, you mean like I had friends, friends over. over and did stuff. Oh, well, my first birthday was when I was 16. So suck it. Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are doing better than others, I guess. So. Weird I, thing about Brittany. She can't remember a year before her 16th birthday. So <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> She might have just been born 16 years old. I might have been. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I I have a question, Jaris. How is it yes. that every episode we do this podcast, uh, you are really great at just shooting the shit for like 15 minutes? Because I enjoy all of your company and <laughs> like talking to you i didn't recognize that you'd like theoretically started our time because of the sloppy intro it was super sloppy assumed that this was still just uh like the pre-work oh no Brittany said the timer and you started doing (laughs) romeo and juliet that's that's like i'm going right from when that started i'm sorry jaris um if you want to talk about what you planned you have a minute and a half left (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask y'all what streaming platforms you're using more in this weird time and okay. which ones you've decided that you fucking hate. Like Hulu is fucking exhausting, even though there's some cool shit on it. Yeah, it's I've just a, all of the I've ad saturation. Hard time, what like, about y'all? I have a hard time navigating Hulu, too. Um, yeah, I was, fuck Hulu. I was telling Michelle the other day that it's weird. I don't add... Like, all of these streaming platforms, they let you add to, like, a list. Um, but the only one I actually use is uh, Netflix. It's the easiest mm-hmm. one to go back to your list. But all the other ones, I think, are really hard to, like, find my list again. Well, mm-hmm. I, so. so, actually, Netflix is still exhausting for me because they they used to show, at, at least on the web, um, when shit expires... And w- once they went to the mm. um, the uh, the uh, the box art view, um, you can switch back on the web, but you can't on you know everything else. You can't tell when shit's mm. leaving, and I hate that so. Uh, 
So many fucking <laughs> things take away your stuff without telling you, like, giving you a countdown of some sort. HBO yeah. does it uh, okay. Like, they, they give you, like, they say, hey, stuff's leaving this month, but they don't tell you when. They used to tell you when. And blah! I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> That's just feeding into Hutch's FUD anxiety. <laughs> Gonna give us five minutes. You could go to BuzzFeed. They probably have a person who uh, goes around and looks up all these, all this information. They'll tell you what's leaving for the month and what's coming. What's coming? Yeah, the month. there's always but, something. But like they that. don't tell me exactly <laughs> what's. While in my you're queue. there, you can figure out. <laughs> you know. I mean, that's true. You just have and, to know. <laughs> yeah. And then while you're figuring that out, you can also figure out which Dis- Disney princess you are. <laughs> Hutch is Mulan. I'm done with that. I mean, <clears throat> at least someone made a man out of him. So, <laughs> what? Uh. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That's one of the songs for Mulan. Uh. <laughs> Why is that the place you went? <laughs> Just, is that the only song that you remember from Mulan? It's is there another the only song? song I remember from Mulan. <laughs> is there another song? That's... But I'm not the one that opened with Hutch being as swift as the Corsic River. I, uh, well... You know what? Jairus is a magician. He's an emotional magician. <laughs> an emotional magician. Yeah, he... He is really great at pointing the blame and then continuing the the problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as a white man, that's part of my responsibility. <laughs> it's been fine tuned at this point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, for me, I would say my least favorite is uh, Amazon Prime Video. Yeah, that one's really bad uh, because m- almost everything that they advertise is something you have to buy, <laughs> and then if you see a little tiny strip. Uh, on the corner that says Prime on it. Oh, that's free. Okay, cool. And it's always yeah. some random bullshit that you don't want to watch. <clears throat> and the list and everything else is super slow. But at the same time, what I like about it is that you can rent movies, and it's usually always available, no matter what you think of. So that's nice, but that costs money, of course. <laughs> but I also like Amazon Prime is kind of like an extra freebie because I'm I use you just pay for that for the shipping yeah for the shipping and, and whatnot. the movies are included so and I'm like cool <laughs> but that's my least favorite Hulu's probably right behind that one that's probably the one that I pay for intentionally that I I only watch we got it for Brittany mostly you got it so you could watch TV shows and there's a couple Hulu? of TV- yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was a bundle at the time with Spotify. I was already paying for Spotify oh, Premium, okay. so it like came with it for like a dollar or some shit. But uh, now they've looped us into paying like for it as well as Premium, and I need to figure out a way to bundle them again. Okay, so yeah, because we got we've got HBO Max, we got Disney Plus, Netflix, and I actually pay for YouTube because I hate. <sighs> fucking hate, fancy i hate advertisements <laughs> on youtube there's like i listen to asmr and then you'll be like in the middle i'll be going to sleep to asmr and then like bubble buy the thing and right at the end of the video and i'm like okay no I let's can't, play I can't raid shadow thing. legends <laughs> oh my <laughs> pro God. strat pro strat look for the ones that are 10 hours long and don't have any uh breaks in the middle of them yeah 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 the, or just fucking download it so what I've just yeah, there's that. Um, I just also I've gotten to the point though. I'm so used to YouTube without ads. I don't really care. <clears throat> I just like yeah, gonna keep using this. For a while, I would like before I was added into the family account, I would just watch YouTube like a normal person, and she would be like, "Why the fuck do you have so many ads?" <laughs> <laughs> it pissed me off. And I'm like, off. just give me it, give it a minute. It'll that is pass. a wild, <laughs> wild thing for a person who is like, "Let's make some stuff and put it on YouTube." Yeah, exactly. I don't. <laughs> I don't even make money. Or someone who has a degree in advertising and graphic design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I fucking Fuck hate ads, ads on YouTube. <clears throat> I honestly I hate ads on just about everything, but uh, I've just gotten to that point. Especially Hulu, because Hulu has five ads. Sometimes you get lucky <coughs> though, and they won't play ads. Mm-hmm. If, like every time we watch Sailor Moon, it's been really good about not playing any advertisements. Yeah, it's only happened a couple it, times. So. You don't know. It's just a glitch in the system, I, I guess. I um, I'm really annoyed by Funimation's UI. It's very slow. 
Um, sometimes the next episode thing will jump ahead like 20 episodes. What? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I would. So I started watching the Danganronpa anime. Um, and mm-hmm. like the first episode or second episode <laughs> that it showed me, it jumped to the death of a major character. And I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, wow, is this, this is this thing opening with, with this? This is insane. Why? And I realized, oh, no, the app fucked up. It just ruined a, a, a super, like, pivotal plot point. It's, like, it's, it's trying to recreate the experience of watching television shows on syndication, mm-hmm. where yeah. sometimes <laughs> they just release them, like, have them out of order. And you're like, what the fuck? I feel like I missed a lot of mm. stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. God, I don't miss those um, times. <laughs> good old Inuyasha. That's how I watch that show all the fuck over the place. Inuyasha. <laughs> Part of that I anime that's why beginner I stopped pack. Watching Gundam Wing because I was just like, I don't know what's going on anymore. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, Toonami. Uh, to, uh, to its credit, it did do things in order. But if you missed a single day, sometime or more, you were pretty fucked. And it'd be like, oh, it's going to be three months until it gets back to that arc, so. Yeah. <laughs> it, it made going through the, the, the Frieza saga real, real mm. excruciating. <laughs> yes, it did. I remember those days. <laughs> but, they, well, but they also had Sailor uh, Moon before it, which, which was also great. Hell yeah. That was the reason why I got into Sailor Moon. I got into Sailor Moon because it was before DBZ. And the, they did the they did the title song as the ending credits. And then I was just like, I would catch it. And I was like, this song fucking is banging as hell. So I started watching Sailor Moon too. This song slaps. It does. Hell yeah. Brittany, are you singing it in your head currently? What? Oh, I'm singing it in my head. Yeah, sorry. I was singing it in my head and I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> She had to finish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, sorry to make your, your topic like so short, Jairus. <laughs> I'll dab for you, though. There you go. Bye. Bye. Like, comment, right. subscribe. You got the social medias? We got the social medias. You got the Facebooks? We got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters? We got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams? We don't really use that one too much, but, you know, we're on there, too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. <laughs> okay, I'm ready now. Ah, uh, having trouble over there? Hey, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> we keep We're leaving it in. I'm just talking. going through. <laughs> I'm just going into it. Hey, everybody! Power welcome through. back. This is my segment, Ready Saturn, and I want to talk about how they finally let me out of the house, and I got to leave, and I got to go to the mountains, and I got to walk in the woods, <laughs> and it was awesome. <laughs> Barkley, who's been holding you captive? Is that the cats or is that Michelle? <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> and also the government. <laughs> and society and our work. <laughs> our job. Technically, work couldn't know about this. That was fun. Oh, uh, they know. Yeah, they know, but... Not I told Josh. They know after. Did they know because Michelle told her told everyone immediately? No, I mean... We... That was your weekend. Oh, yeah. Brittany went to the mountains. No, I mean, I think they'd be more concerned if we went someplace where there was a lot of people. But because we went to the woods, yeah. they don't care. Like, Rob, he asks everybody, like, when we come back to work, he's like, did you guys do anything fun while we were out? And everyone's like, no. I've been <laughs> super fucking depressed, and I've been sitting on my couch. Is normally the answer he gets. But this time I was like, I got to go hiking, and it was really cool. So they know. They don't care. <laughs> Michelle, did you go as well? I did, actually. Um, the reason we went was because uh, my aunt and uncle, my Aunt Lisa in Florida, mm. and my Uncle Carrie uh, came up to North Carolina because they had a timeshare that they had to do now or it was going to go away. Oh, and uh, I was like, okay. And I went to go see him because I hadn't seen him in like six years. So yeah. um, we went and stayed with them. And it was very nice. I wish we had more time, but we did. We only had like a day or so to spend up there. Yeah, we only had the weekend. So. And um, but we went up there and we went to a bunch of places. And honestly, for me, it was really great because it was the first family I've gotten to see since I've come out as trans. Mm. Yeah, because you haven't even <clears throat> seen your parents yet. I haven't even seen my parents yet. It was the first family members that I've I've seen since. And uh, I also. 
when they messaged me and said they were coming up, I had to come out to them. Mm. <laughs> but fun fact, they already knew because I updated my Xbox Live account and I'm friends with my Uncle Carrie on there. And he was like, hmm, I wonder what's going on with uh, Brian now that it's Michelle Belcher on there. <laughs> <laughs> so when I called and told him I was trans, they're like, we know. And that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> mm. <laughs> So, but Brittany, they, where did you go? Uh, we went to Linville Falls. Um, I had been there before as a kid, but it was like single digits last time I was there. And also, they had to close early last time I was there because somebody crossed over the barrier and fell and died. So, oh. <laughs> um, it has like it had a bunch of hiking trails, but the one we did was kind of an easier one. It was the main one, and you just walk along the river and like look at all these beautiful waterfalls. Uh, and then you climb up the mountain, it gets higher and higher, and you can still see the waterfalls but from like higher distances um but we saw a trail like michelle and i want to go back there and do some more uh do some other trails that are a little bit harder Mm -hmm. uh we started down one (laughs) a little bit more extreme yeah i was trying to avoid that word but (laughs) 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 so there's this one trail that was literally chiseled out of the side of a cliff and there was nothing to like if you fell like there was nothing to stop you um but the shrubbery on the way down (laughs) Mm. Uh, and there were all these roots and rocks and stuff, and it looked really fun. Um, but Me, we, you were just hopping along down it, too. Yeah, your aunt and uncle uh, couldn't really do that one, and we also were pushed for time, so we had to leave, but it was really awesome. Also, I want to go back because the caverns were only three miles away. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've never been. <laughs> but they weren't open when we were there. They they like We were there on a Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Mm. We were there on the Sunday, though. Oh, yeah, and then right. they literally opened on the next day. They were opening for the year, so we just, like, barely missed it. The, the, but we definitely want to... Sorry, Oh, I was going to say, the caverns are really great. I, I, I went to those. Those are actually the only caverns I've been to. Um, yeah, they... Um, when they turn off the lights and then you're in complete darkness, that's that's pretty rad. They've also... Yeah, it's really they've, cool. they've got... Um, They've got a section where, like, you kind of go over, like, this water area where it's, like, miles down below you and everyone's mm-hmm. just standing on this grate. Mm-hmm. It's real comfy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so, uh, the same day, like, back when I was a kid, when we went to Linville Falls, we also visited Linville Caverns because they're so close together. And I remember the caverns more than the falls as a kid, <clears> and <throat> the caverns were fucking just awesome. That's why I'm obsessed with caves today, and that's the only one I've ever been to. So, I'm trying to get Michelle to go to it, even though she's like, eh. But, like, it's just I, like a joke now. You it's know? A, it's like, a joke. Eh. I've uh, <laughs> Because every time we go to the Virginia state line, you show me the brochure for the mammoth caverns. <laughs> and it's uh, she's like, oh, she's always like, fuck what our trip. Let's go here instead. <laughs> even though she knows we can't do that. I always make a joke that I'm going to give you the wrong direction. So we're going yeah, to go yeah, to the yeah. mammoth caves. They're really far <laughs> away. They're in Kentucky, though. So yeah. they're pretty far but um, no i i mean i i did think about proposing to you at the mammoth caverns one God. time <laughs> i would be suspicious though if you were like let's go to the mammoth caves i'd be like why <laughs> yeah that's why i didn't do it because i because you would have been like something's up yeah something's going yeah on. you'd have to you'd have to build a situation michelle where you were mm-hmm. like let's go to kentucky to this place that's right near the mm-hmm. mammoth mm-hmm. caverns Brittany, you have the map right <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly um but no it was really awesome to get outside and just exercise honestly like i miss just walking forever uh we try to yeah. go to parks here in raleigh but there's so many people here now because everybody's stuck inside that it's really hard to stay safe and mm-hmm. also yeah be outside so but this yeah. was we were in the woods and there wasn't a whole lot of people there at all um and the people that were there i felt like we were able to stay a pretty safe distance away from them mm-hmm um but the thing we went to the day before that was really funny (laughs) um everyone was like hey let's check out mystery hill i think is what it's called and it's just like one of those weird places roadside yeah it's like a roadside touristy thing where you walk into a room that was built on a slant so it feels like the gravity is pulling you in a weird way or whatever um but the last time i had passed that place it was literally just a shack 
And now we went to it and it had built up. They had all kinds of other crap you could pay for that. I don't know why you would pay for all those other things because it was we ridiculous. We did one thing that we should have paid for, but we didn't. <clears throat> like, what were the yeah. things that you were supposed to pay for? Um, They have like tomahawk throwing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which that's the thing we didn't pay for. The guy was like, we, we walked through uh, it because we were because like the weird thing about it is that we we pulled up there at like five o'clock and they we bought our ticket and then they were like, okay, your tour doesn't start until seven and we were like, okay, I guess we'll hang out for two hours in the gift shop. Mm -hmm. Um, but the weird thing, like I I just wanted to see the gravity thing. Um, but they also included my favorite thing, which was the Native American uh, History Museum with fifty thousand artifacts. They advertised fifty thousand artifacts, and they all were arrowheads. Every <laughs> single so, one of them was an arrowhead. I, I was imagining a piece of pottery broken into fifty thousand pieces. <laughs> no, this is well, way worse. I will <clears throat> send you guys the pictures of it, um, and we'll also put them up on the screen as well mm -hmm. um it was hilarious and then we came to a part where um it was just black light posters and then it felt really racist and i was like <laughs> okay this feels pretty racist i'm kind of sorry that my money went to support this <laughs> yep well i think at the Oof. end me and uh me, Brittany, my I'm aunt and uncle the were all just like not not comfortable here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, this is great. Um, and then I've, right above, <laughs> sorry, I was gonna say, I, I've I've seen um billboards for that place as a child <laughs> so many times. So it's kind of wild hearing you describe this enig enigma that's plagued me throughout the. <laughs> my so this is my second time there hutch i went there 10 years ago when it was just a shack just a shack oh. so above above the native american museum was an old house that you could walk through with like antique furniture or something like that and that was also included with our ticket so we did that that took like five minutes if that and then we walked outside and they had a bunch of rabbits in cages <laughs> they were like you can see the rabbits <laughs> here's some rabbits and me and Brittany are like yeah cool i was like okay there's some <clears throat> rabbits um and then they had it's another section that was closed. Um, they had like a coffee shop and like a, a place where you could mine for gems and then a, a place for fossils, like mm -hmm. dinosaur fossils, I guess. I don't know. But that section like was to, closed. To mine for dinosaur fossils? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. It seemed like it was two separate things. Like one was just a museum kind of oh, fossil. Okay. okay. But the other That's what I was part was that you could mine for gems. I don't know how that works. but Oh, it, it, did, the gold it looked stuff. like it was some bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I, I used yeah. to do that a lot. Um as a, oh, so uh, we used to go to Boone a lot, and um, a lot. So, what, okay, hear me out. <laughs> so there was a um, so next to our hotel um, that we would go to, there was a um, a putt putt course that was like on this giant hill uh, with an arcade. Uh, and then right next to it was this like dedicated gold panning, like well, like you know, like whatever. So. Oh, uh, we know exactly what yeah. you're talking about. They give you yeah, you, you buy that. a pail of dirt and then you just throw some in your um, thing, and they got these troughs with always running water, and you just like you like swish it around to get the dirt gone and see what you get. And usually, you get a bunch of garbage. See if you got the good cool dirt. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we made that into an amusement thing. Yeah, oh. it was like, it was so bizarre there, though, because it's like, <clears throat> obviously, all this stuff is pandering to um, all these tourists who've never been to the mountains, and it's all like Old West themed. I don't understand mm. that aspect of it. I guess because we're so close to Cherokee, maybe. Yeah. Um, Indians and cowboys or something. Yeah, bullshit. it's all like cowboys and Indians type uh. deal, and it's like, it's kind of cringe now that it's 2020. <laughs> Because I think right beside yeah. the Mystery Hill is Tootsie Railroad, <clears throat> yep. um, which Oof. last time I was there, I was in kindergarten, and you get on this, like, train that's, like, the old-fashioned, like, locomotive steam engine, and you watch, like, cowboys and Indians shoot guns at each other. Uh, yep. And then at one point, 
the train stops and this like chief runs down the middle aisle with a tomahawk and like yells and like scares the crap out of you as a kid and i i was thinking like this can't possibly still be the show they do nowadays but it sure I, looks like it i'm not sure honestly <laughs> i i think it is i like this is still a thing that happens like okay <laughs> also it's so tiny looking now I yeah remember that it being really, big it used but... to be really big i thought but i don't know i was also like five years old last time i went there so but yeah, that part of the trip was really fucking weird. That was like Saturday. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but I super enjoyed the hiking part. I want to do that again. Um, yeah, we want to go back and go camping because it's just like one of those things. Uh, when I was out there, it was just nice to be outside, see sunshine and breathe fresh air. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like my house is so stuffy now and we open the windows and whatnot. We clean, but it doesn't matter. It just yeah. it has a it has a claustrophobic feel about it's it got right now. 48, it's got 24 <clears throat> hours of everyone's meat stink in it. Yep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, and it's uh, when we came back home, it was kind of like. It was kind of sad, but it was also really nice because uh, we could go back into being lazy again. But I, yeah. <laughs> uh, ever since then, I've been kind of like hankering for more physical activity. Mm-hmm. So yeah, which moving I'm, is important for feeling good. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. Which is, you know, <clears throat> usually I'm a lazy fuck, and I'm a I'm a I like being in the house, but I've had so much of it. I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah i feel like we're kind of lucky too or at least i am because i do have to go to work certain days and i do move around a lot at my job like i don't just sit still and we go outside for like an hour uh every day for lunch and we just kind of sit in the sun and it's really mm-hmm. nice so mm-hmm. but yeah that was our trip to boone um haven't been in a while but the hiking part of it was really fun i don't suggest going to the mystery hill section unless you're really into touristy stuff there it was, was kind a of really expensive. good barbecue place though we it got was... some good barbecue yeah, the barbecue was pretty good. Yeah. What does a Mystery <clears throat> Hill cost you? So it was like $18 per person. And that's the cheapest and ticket. And that was the cheapest ticket. That's oh, no. wild. It, it is got, wild. It went up to $40. Honestly, if I wasn't there with your family and like we rolled up there, I'd be like, oh, let's go. I'm not paying this much money for this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. because your aunt and uncle were there and they drove us, I didn't want to be rude and be like, I'm not fucking paying for this. Because <laughs> they were really excited about it and they wanted to uh, do it, but... Yeah, you know, I was like, okay. <clears throat> they wanted the full North Carolina experience. <laughs> yes, which they were. Although they were also kind of like, man, this became real touristy because the last time I did it, I did it with them, <laughs> like ten to years what ago. It used to be, it used yeah. to have like, it used to be real, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of the conversation we had. The room that you walked into, though, was pretty cool. Like, it was obviously built on a slant so that it fucks with you and it feels like, yeah, it's just. Yeah, it was just very weird. Mm-hmm. But uh, it should have been like $5 for that. <laughs> yeah. And it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's because they know that's the only thing they actually have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, this is the only thing that people want to experience. Let's charge them 20 bucks. Yeah. Well, my, my favorite part about and- it was that when we did it, the guy was, our tour guide was setting us up for like uh all this crazy ass shit and whatnot and he's like people say aliens did it and whatnot my and we were with a group of other people who are like french or something i don't know what they oh. were no it was a white man and he had a russian mail order bride basically oh, okay. is okay. who that <laughs> other family was oh, that poor mail order bride oh, no. <laughs> it's very interesting she was there. oh can you imagine that yeah. can you imagine like you've flown across the world with mm-hmm. promises of a rich husband and then he takes you to that fucking place <laughs> yeah. well there are three children were running yeah, around like, like crazy oh, okay and okay <laughs> so the the hope is gone from her eyes long ago oh yeah Oh, yeah. It was a long time ago. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Well, my favorite part is when he was like, well, we're not going to get into the old science part of it. (laughs) I'm just going to let you guys walk in there and experience it. Yeah. Yeah. That was like, well, this this is science part. Someone did a bad job building. (laughs) Yeah. They're like, there's a lot of iron ore below this. We think that's why it's the way it is. Yeah. I'm like, okay. okay. (laughs) Science can't prove how magnets work. Yeah. It's just there in the I air. I don't know. It was, it was very bizarre. It felt very much like a family owned this area that was kind of cool that had like a kind of cool thing going on with it. And they're like, we really got to build this up and make this like a big old thing. And they have like weird movie cutouts too mm-hmm. behind mm-hmm. like the 
like in a in a corner. It just felt very much like a whatever we can get type of cash grab. Yeah, you know? after that, they just put you in a bubble room. Yeah, they're like, here's a room with a bunch of bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> and you could like make make bubbles. And I honestly, I had a lot of fun with that because bubbles are fun. But, but when I left, though, I got the creeps because like I was using hand sanitizer the entire time. But I was like, there's no way they're going in there and wiping off those railings and stuff where like you're in that gravity room and you have to hold on to the railing so mm-hmm. that you don't fall against the fucking wall. Yeah. And there's no way they're going in there in between the tour groups and like. Oh. And like wiping it down, you know what I mean? Yeah. So no, they don't care. Like, I got to wash my hands, and yeah, it was like gross. I have to show them the picture of Isaac Newton. I'll put it on to the <laughs> screen as well. Um, they were basically what was it like a dummy, and they were like, "Fuck Isaac Newton." Or, yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was some bizarre <laughs> ass shit. This is what you see on the entrance in, and it was just <laughs> just this really terrible. <laughs> puppet of of him going in so yeah and like here's uh i don't know if i'll put this on the thing but here's like the best picture of like britney trying messing with it and mystery hill part of it yeah britney just looks drunk (laughs) (laughs) that's like standard drunk britney behavior though maybe if i was drunk i would have had way more fun with it, but <laughs> this is a really um, weird picture. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, there's a lot that was really weird going on there. Yeah, so it's a mystery. <laughs> That's our trip to uh, Boone. <laughs> we'll go back and go hiking again, though. Yeah, I just want to go hiking. <laughs> it's an awesome trail. I've- Michelle got to see her family, and Brittany got to feel sad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, don't worry. There was lots of sadness, too. Oh. Yep. Oh, no. (laughs) Let's just close on that. I'm just going to close right there on, like, there's a lot of sadness, too. Tune in next week where we learn about why everyone is sad. (laughs) Spoiler alert. Everything. (laughs) Everything going on. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Smash like and subscribe. Do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Welcome back. Um, so I had a uh many moons ago uh a uh assignment for everyone. Uh the assignment was to play a game from a game series that uh we've meant to for a while. Um and uh I, it's been way over a month, um, so uh, we've definitely had enough time to do that. So um, I, I guess I'll start. Um, so I uh, have been meaning to play one of the Persona games. Um, so I played Persona Five: The Royal, um, which is what how Twitch lists it in their game database for some reason. Um, yeah, uh, but. Yeah, so that game, I got, uh, I got only eight hours into it, um, mm-hmm. and it is a very slow game to to get started. <laughs> like, I'm eight hours in, and I'm still getting tutorial prompts. Um, how how long and is that game? It's it, it's like a fifty sixty hour game at least. No, no, at it's least. over. It's a hundred plus hour game. And, oh, okay, well, and then, with yeah, the the, the pace mind. that everything's kind of playing out, I believe it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really neat like um the story seems interesting um the gameplay is fun uh the style um the visual flair and the music are top notch amazing like if you play an atlas game mm-hmm. you know what you're in for um mm-hmm. uh and the ba- yeah the battle system seems fun um but there's just there's so much going on um the uh i mean so the, there's the whole persona system where you can like um you can like steal pers- personas from enemies that uh, you encounter um and but then you can only hold so many of them at one time and then you can fuse them to to make more powerful personas and give yourself kind of you know more powerful like abilities and stuff um so there, there's that aspect to it, but then there's also, there's a lot of other systems into it. Like, 
each dungeon, like you can prepare, like like build items in order to pre- kind of prepare how you tackle each dungeon, which is is kind of neat. Um, but then uh, during the day, um, w- when you don't tackle dungeons, you have like your regular life. Um, you have a lot of uh, like social, like you can be- build your social ties with other people. Um, mm, and gotcha. I haven't even gotten like fully into that. I only just got like introduced to that. So like, there's just there's it's an overwhelming amount of systems and whatnot. So I I definitely want to play more into it, but I keep getting distracted by other games like uh, Life is Strange too. Like I, I've started to play that because that's leaving Game Pass like by the end of the month, mm-hmm. and I need to get that done. So yeah, I uh, that's a lot of game. Yeah. 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 That's, have uh, you played any of the other Persona games? Like, you, were you familiar with the universe before starting this one? I was. I was aware. Um, and like, I, I kind of knew of things about the various other titles, but I've never actually mm-hmm. sat down and played played one. No. Hmm. Um. The the one thing that's cool about the Persona games is each one's its own story. So, like, while it's Persona 5, it's not, like, a continuation of the story from Persona 4. Oh, okay, cool. So it's yeah, its I just looked up a quick little thing about it on Wikipedia. So the, Apparently, it's the sixth oh, sorry. game in the Persona universe. Yeah. So, so they, they, there there are characters that overlap, I believe. Um, so, mm-hmm. 4 has um, the characters that overlap from 3. Um, and I believe, like, the early games, um, two, uh, I think, more specifically, I guess, Persona 2 and 1 have... I have negative understanding of Persona, except from the characters in Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, that's honestly where I'm at, except for I know Persona 3, people activated their Personas by committing suicide, and that was fucked up. Well, not not necessarily <laughs> that, but it's... Okay. It's, they, they, they take a gun-like apparatus, uh, and like, yeah, so it's that to themselves, so... I mean, it, yeah, they would shoot themselves in the head, and their persona would pop yeah. out. Is the the character um, Joker with the weird mm-hmm. star on on his face? Is that from Persona? Mm-hmm, that's from Persona yeah. Five. Okay. No, that's from Batman. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. You know what? That's cool. such an easy just, joke, but I'm gonna let you have it. I'll just make sure. I just keep it. Thank by. you for allowing me to make that dumb joke. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm here I, for I you. I was really worried that I wouldn't be granted permission to make that dumb. <laughs> I know you would. I uh, just want. I just wanted to leave any anxiety you had there. Oh, oh, yeah. Whew. That was one of the top things I was definitely feeling anxiety about in this moment. <laughs> that was a good yeah. one. Uh, well, I mean, that, so, that's all I had to go on. Uh, well, I had a similar experience to uh, Hutch because I, like him, was a dumbass, and I picked one of the hardest, longest games that I could. Uh, not nearly as bad as him, but I picked Final Fantasy VII Remake. I bought the game. I looked at the game and its packaging for like three weeks and then, oh shit, I need to play this game. I got about 15 hours into it, and the first like seven to ten hours i just was really a grumbly mess the whole time what game was it i said final fantasy 7 did you <laughs> yes oh okay <laughs> <I glazed over>. <laughs> <laughs> um, i mean i knew what it was i just wanted to make sure that no no i said it, it uh, okay. but yeah final fantasy 7 remake was the game i played and for the first like seven to ten hours all i could think of is like wow cloud is a little bitch why does anyone like this game <laughs> Um, he just complains the whole time. He's an edge lord, uh, emo kid, and every every other character in that game was better than him. And I don't know why he's the main character. Um, I do. I haven't beaten it yet, so I'm going to beat uh, the game eventually. But uh, was he starting to get better? Though? It is getting is better. He having like, like a character arc where he's like, oh, yeah, maybe he, I kill. I don't have to be so edgy. Yeah. So like Tifa and um. It is probably my favorite character right now. Tifa and Jesse are fantastic. They're both. Uh, there's like several ladies that are interested in Cloud. They're all like romantically interested in yeah. one way or another. And uh, I, it, it, he doesn't know why. I don't get it. But <laughs> but if he doesn't get with Tifa, I'm just he's got he's got a lot of baggage. He has a lot of baggage. 
Um, a bike. I played Just Cause whatever. <laughs> okay. I also played it for about 15 hours. Mm-hmm. Um, and in that time, I mm. had a lot of fun, but also uh, created a situation where I had like five game-breaking crashes. Ooh. <laughs> which is just like on par for that series. So mm. it's a lot of fun. But it will boot you to home screen every now and then. Wow. <laughs> Did you lose your progress when that happened? What's that? Did you lose your progress when that happened? The progress doesn't really matter in that game. Okay. There's not so much <laughs> progress as it is just It's more, shooting, more like a toy like box. Oh, okay. Yeah. You use a hook shot to get around and you're like, oh no, I'm in this place. And when you die and respawn, it just kind of drops you randomly somewhere. Oh, so okay. it's like it it feels like an experimental art. Okay. All right. I mean, that sounds kind of cool. It sucks that it breaks, but it uh that was the thing that I was really excited about that game is anytime I go to Tanner's house, he's like, it's either one of we were either playing Red Dead Redemption or a just cause mm-hmm. game and just fucking around. So Yeah. No, and that's exactly what I needed at that time. Mm-hmm. So, like, it was dope. So, Brittany, well, four, four I- out of five stars. <laughs> well, I picked the shortest game, uh, Donut County. It was only two hours, and I didn't play any of it. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Hutch. <laughs> Sucks to suck. It's okay. I don't know if I'm more, I'm, I'm more mad at myself. I'm also sad that I didn't do the homework. It's something I wanted to do. I've had ample time to do it. I just haven't felt like playing video games lately. Um, yeah, I've just been wanting to cross stitch. I'm working on a really big one right now, so um, that's what I've been doing mostly. <laughs> I haven't even been playing Animal Crossing. Like I haven't played Animal Crossing in maybe like a week and a half. Whoa, yeah, I've been pretty bad about that too. <sighs> yeah, you're I never gonna have the perfect island if you're not terraforming. I know they actually dropped my rating. I was at four stars, and then last time I talked to her, I was at three stars. <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck! <laughs> she was like, "Looks like you okay? You lost a star." <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i just haven't felt like gaming and i just i think if i force myself to do it it won't be good you know because i'll be like i fucking hate this so um yeah sorry about that i'll eventually get to donut county maybe i'll do like a let's play like a quick let's play or something to make up for it so um but yeah sorry <laughs> And all my favorite games that we that I do like to play over and over again, I don't have any of them here because we let a friend borrow them. So. <clears throat> They're on the way back, though. <laughs> uh, so Brittany gave me a look right when she said that because it was my fault. So. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Michelle gives all my favorite games away. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just realized that I have your copy of 50 Cent and Blood in the Sand, so I'll, I'll give that back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> <laughs> I need that back. I love to get motion sickness during the helicopter missions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might stream that i've always i've been excited to play as woo kid <laughs> so fun fact uh they are remaking that game right now really? for the ps5 and series x oh my god yeah the he, uh 50 cent said uh, he was like i want to remake that game with like uh like 4k graphics 60 frames per second i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that is what's going to make that game better yeah. but okay <laughs> That Michelle Michelle special. personally greenlit the game. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I do a lot when I'm not aware of things. <laughs> uh yeah, ran- yeah, random thing is I I found uh so I have like three games of yours over here. So that was one of them. I totally okay. forgot about. Oh, do you really have 50 No, I I, I do. <laughs> I've ha- I've had it for I think I had it before you guys moved in. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Perfect. Yeah, th- <laughs> yeah, that's from before we moved in. I forgot about that, actually. I did, too, because oh, really it, it sat in my closet <laughs> for a while. And then, so I finally set up um, those ga- uh, shelves. Um, and mm-hmm. uh, so now my living room is a little more organized, and all my games are out in there. So, uh Nice. Yeah, so now I oh, got that. I will say I did really appreciate the homework assignment that you gave us just because it gave me a chance to like 
really knuckle down and like i now i do know a bit more about final fantasy 7 which is uh like one of those franchises and seminal games that like people always talk about Mm -hmm. and i'm always kind of like yeah i didn't play that one so i guess i'll sit here during this conversation so so was your takeaway that you just didn't like it i i I guess i you kind of so so far i'm not interested in it i will say that the gameplay for the game is awesome like the new well, version at of one it point like you kept saying you didn't like it and then at one point you were like actually this game has gotten a lot better i do yeah, like yeah. it but then you're back to the point of like i hate this game <laughs> no 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 i don't hate it what i what i am is i'm not interested and i hate the lead character Oh, okay, okay. like I, it, the game is not good enough for me to give a shit about it and the lead character is such a distraction that i like he it's not helping like i hate one aspect of it and the other aspects of it are just okay yeah okay well he he does have character development um that's good uh, how far did you get in it i got to the point where um uh me and Arif are just like hanging around <clears throat> getting flowers and shit oh wow okay <laughs> and what the fuck kind of game is this i know uh i had my favorite part of the game so far was the motorcycle fight where i'm fighting a man on with uh sword fighting a man while we're both driving motorcycles that was the best part so far the motorcycle and then he yeah. came back he came back and like while i was about to die stopped everyone from fighting with me to have another one-on-one match and then drove off into the sky somewhere it was bizarre and i loved it <laughs> it's 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 the most anime ass like anime game like oh it, it 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 gives that kind of feel i don't know if you ever saw probably not the advent children movie um sadly uh, uh i have seen it and i don't remember any of it because it was like my first introduction to oh, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, that's all good because I've seen it and I d- didn't remember much of it either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the action it kind of rivals and surpasses the action in in, in that movie. It's it's really good. Hmm. Um, but yeah, like you said, like I, I think the battle systems like some of the most fun. Like it's not just mindless. It's str- you have to be strategic. So mm-hmm. it it, it, mm-hmm. it it does a good blend of action and the. Um, spell casting and, and ability using uh, that the original games mm-hmm. did. Uh, it gets better, but uh, yeah, you're at, you're at a slower part right now. Um, yeah, but it does. I think that's my problem. Is like I'm just wanting to get back into the action. I'm like, let me in the game, coach. And right now, it's just like you just sit over here on the sidelines and play with flowers. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh well. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Anyone else have any final statements? I'll do better next time. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. All right. Oh, All right bye, bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. Congratulations. You Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to th- right smash there. like. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut right. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> 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 Dab on that bell. Hey, welcome back to Heat Wave. Uh, today, we're going to talk about some of the shit that's happened. Uh, seeing how we're not going to have an E3. <laughs> the people are just spouting out random information here and there. Uh, of course, the big one was the uh, PS5 announcement with uh, from Sony. But we also had an EA announcement, some PC gamer announcement. IGN had like a summer of games thing. I don't know. Stuff's happened. But honestly, the PS5 one is the main focus I want to talk about today. Um, and uh, honestly, uh, I was really excited about it. I, I'm glad it happened because I just needed something to talk about that wasn't sad. So it was a nice <laughs> distraction. That was my number one takeaway from it. <laughs> Not <laughs> sad. <laughs> like, hey, this, hey is... this doesn't fill me with dread. Yay. Yeah, it was kind of nice. I was like, oh, hey, I'm excited about something. It kind of <laughs> feels like E3 again. 
Um, I will say that I like this presentation. I watched the PS5 one all the way through, mm-hmm. and I do like this presentation better than any of the E3 presentations because there was less people talking in between the games. It's mm-hmm. just showing games. Mm-hmm. It's always some dude like with his uh, blazer on and like a t-shirt, and he's like, "This yeah. year we wanted to create the most innovative game that we could possibly make yeah, with yeah, our yeah. system." Like, just it's always the same buzzwords that they say. We're pushing the limits of, yeah, you know, of rendering pushing. technology. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the most polygons on screen. I can see you pushing up your glasses, Brittany. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she did. <laughs> it's it's always bullshit like that. And I think the first year I watched E3, I was impressed. But after that, I was like, oh, this is the same shit every year. So whatever. Yeah, exactly. Just show me the game. Well, well so. and that's <laughs> I remember when Michelle used to make us come over and watch all of the E3 stuff. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my favorite one was when me and Jairus got super hyper pissed about the Xbox One announcement and they were like doing that all digital bullshit for yeah. a little for a spell. Oh man. Seeing I could see the steam coming off of Jairus' shoulders and I was just like, yes. Because yeah. we were streaming it at the time. So, yeah. <laughs> so the live reaction was pretty perfect. God. Don Metric. DRM a- pisses me off. <sighs> So when I watched this, I was at work by myself and like, uh, just like I had a whole side of the office to myself and I was just screaming and cursing at random shit because first of all, the event started in the dumbest way possible with them announcing <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5 coming to PlayStation 5. Yeah, and I was, was just like, so- oh, you mean the thing that was on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3? Great. That was a really weird choice to start off with. I uh-huh. thought. It's like, why? Cool. Uh, got, <laughs> just put that shit in the middle. So I've got the reveal thing, or like the, the video that they showed um, of the PlayStation 5, and it looks mm-hmm. beautiful, but mm-hmm. I I just cackled because I got to the point where they showed two versions side by side, <laughs> one of which had a disc slot, the other didn't. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> which was its own thing, by the way. Everyone at work, like, Doug was at work, and he just started yelling at everybody after that who was watching. He was just like, you better fucking buy the physical one. <laughs> and I was he even retweeted me because I made like a tweet about it, but um, it was the dumbest thing. I'm just like, oh, here we go again, fucking going digital only. Let's see how successful that actually ends up. Yeah, we'll see. So right now, rumors. This wasn't announced during the thing, but rumors are saying that the digital one will be four hundred dollars and the physical one will be five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And it that's a is- hundred dollars worth of disc drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if it is an HD Which Blu-ray is not- or whatever. That's not <laughs> how no. much that costs. No, at most, at most, it's fifty. But I doubt it's well, that. Well, maybe we can buy the digital only version and rig something. Just get a USB <laughs> disc drive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's probably fine. I mean, honestly, the digital one looks better. It does. But- yeah, but. Well, and that's that's probably what happened is that they like were in the design ideation process and they're mm-hmm. like, yeah, we just can't figure out how to get a disk drive in here. <laughs> it, it seems like it does seem like some minute. fucking designer built the most elegant, perfect Alienware computer that they could <laughs> um, and then got to the end and somebody was like, hey, but where's the disk drive? And they're like, I- oh, shit. Yeah, I guess humans want disk drives. Where do I put my copy of so Twister on Blu-ray? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird inversion of user-centric design. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where it's like, we're building the most beautiful thing we want to build, so fuck you. And I it's, kind of hate that in general. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very like, it's exactly shouldn't... how the Xbox One was announced. It's the same attitude of like, yeah. we're rich and we don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, and it's wild because they got so much press mm-hmm. off of like, hey, with PlayStation, mm-hmm. here's how you share a game. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's just exact one opposite. person. Yeah, yeah. It's wild to see how much. Like, mm-hmm. I kind of want to scrape LinkedIn and see who's involved <laughs> with this project mm-hmm. and compare it to the xbox one you know it's launch. funny you mentioned that because people have already been scraping linkedin and there's actually been yeah. some weird reveals about the uh the playstation 5 os from linkedin 
Huh. Uh, so it's been really weird. Like uh, that's where the price uh, rumor is coming from as well. Mm. And so it's re- you can it, you're not that far off about getting information. No, I mean yeah, that's that's <laughs> a real place. Like if you want to figure out who is working on a thing and what mm-hmm. skills they have, you can mm-hmm. make inferences about it. Exactly. Um, I'm go- I will say I think the reason why the PlayStation Five announcement was so successful has got to be for the Spider-Man Miles Morales announcement. Um, yeah. so much that there's speculation over the fact that whether it was an expansion or a full game or if it's coming to PS4 or not. Um, and I'm it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah. Um, I bought Spider Man uh, right before Christmas, and I still haven't played it, and I've been kind of meaning to play it. So this gives Spider-Man. me another reason to slap again. I'm in the same boat. I'm I'm looking forward <laughs> to eventually playing uh, uh, that game and a lot of other games. But uh, at, at the, mm-hmm. yeah, I feel, I feel that. like at the point that I actually will, they'll put out like a remaster version that um, mm-hmm. takes advantage of the. Um, uh, the quick the, the, hardware. the hardware, yeah, and the 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 SSD um, architecture. Um, the next game announcement that they had was, of course, every single one of these has to have a racing game because it's one of the best ex- ways to show off like how graphics <clears throat> have advanced. So they had to do their Gran Turismo Seven announcement, and I was like, cool, car porn. <laughs> yeah, that was whatever for me. I don't really care. Also, what psycho picks the view where you're inside the race car to play? Yeah, like what are you doing? I mean, I think that's a Jair's <laughs> choice, right? You would do that? No, 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 no. Okay, sometimes. Okay, because I mostly know though. Or maybe I'm thinking of like like uh, I would do you're that. Of Watson, I do yeah, that yeah. view. Like if I'm in an arcade and I'm playing with a wheel and like the chair and everything, yeah. mm-hmm, but like mm-hmm. just playing at home, like with my controller, I'm like I'm not. No, that yeah, view. I need to That's see the crazy. car. <laughs> yeah, but it makes um, for a good uh, showcase of the the lighting effects and 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 whatnot. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Also, uh, I. I the one thing that really made like these presentations um, pop are the fact that they're showing in-game like mm-hmm. gameplay with HUDs and everything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was actually really nice to see that the mass majority of every game on there was in-game footage. Yep. Yeah, which yeah. Re- which really impressed me about this next game. This is actually my favorite uh, game to come out of it, and I was not expecting this. Was Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart? Yes. And the reason why I, I'm not, I don't really care for the Ratchet and Clank uh, series, but I like platformers. And what really got I've me was just like, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, what, what really got me was the fact that it was uh, a great example of how the hardware is being used to advanced uh, gameplay versus just making things prettier. And yeah. the SSD was like, oh, cool. You can instantly load a world and was walk through this dimension. It's very portal-like, except it's an entire different map instead of just a different part of the same map. Mm-hmm. Um, I also liked the fact that there was so many NPCs on screen doing all kinds of wild things and interacting with each other at once. Uh, like It just felt like a, a lived-in world, which was really cool. Um, so I'm I'm pretty excited about that. It was definitely my. It felt like the most next generation game I saw. Yeah, I I'm I'm real excited for it. I, I love the Ratchet and Clank games, and uh, yeah, like you said, like yeah, it, it's it it's probably the the best show off of the the SSD technology. Something that uh, Xbox will probably. I, I I'm curious how. Um, I, I'm assuming it it won't be able to. to work on the le- level that this game kind of demonstrates but i'm sure it'll, it'll, it'll i mean the only real difference is bandwidth like they both have ssd but just one has like it's a, more it's a substantial amount of bandwidth though it's true it's true yeah so yeah um the next the, oh sorry I oh no i was gonna say yeah, more yeah. To say. <laughs> i was trying to transition this too so <laughs> <laughs> uh the next game that they announced was uh a square enix game which i don't think really mattered because it's going to come out in 2023 if that as of right now which means it'll probably be 2025 uh project athea uh it looked like a cool looking werewolf Game. I put that down as like a maybe game. Yeah, I was like that may be cool, but I need to see more about it. Yeah, that know? one's just way too early in development. Yeah, it looks cool though. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, Squ- Square does make great games, but like it's just they're always really bad about timelines, and they announce stuff way too early all the time. Yeah. 
Uh, the next one was absolutely a surprise hitter for me, and that was the game Stray, uh, which is a cyberpunk game where you're flo- uh, in this like dystopian post-apocalyptic world f- uh, inhabited with nothing but robots. And the, you, uh, the whole trailer, you're watching this robot go about its day and whatnot, being followed by this l- real cat, a real life cat. And then all of a sudden, at the end of the trailer, you realize, oh, this per- your the playable character is the cat. You play as the cat. Yeah, that one for me was definitely that a game sounds dope. I wanted to play. So. Mm-hmm. That one got a smiley face. <laughs> that one That's got a- how I like graded these games. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Jungle Two. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people were saying that, and I was like, okay, I kind of get that. But um, as far as like new IPs and what, that was the one that got me the most. Yeah, that looked really cool. Um, after that, there was another game uh, developed by uh, Sony uh, called The Returnal. <laughs> I, it, uh, quick note on Stray. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, from the notes on that, Stray is developed by Blue 12 Studio, a small team from the south of France that is mostly made up of cats and a handful of humans. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, excuse me. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> that's from their Steam page. That's great. Marvelous. You know oh, what? What would cat Peter Molyneux? Peter Meowlinoo? <laughs> yeah, Meowlinoo. It has to be. You know what? Honestly, like that's enough for me. It's just it's straight enough. <laughs> there are some other there are some other things in there that were fun to talk about. Like I'm excited about the sack boy, a big uh, adventure. Yeah, the sack boy thing looks cool. Like um, I loved the Little Big Planet, but I don't think it'll be a good as good as the first game because I didn't think the second game was as good as the first game. But mm-hmm. I still like that universe, and I yeah. still want to play it. Yeah. Um, another surprise one for me was Goodbye Volcano High. Uh, which was mm. looked like a shell shaded, um, a shell shaded game where you're in a high school inhabited by dinosaurs next to a volcano, and it looks like it all ends up with all of them dying with a giant comet hitting and destroying um, everyone. My notes for that, I wrote, art looks interesting, but like Animal Tumblr. Yeah, it's kind of like how it felt. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like I'm in a band and the world's going to end, and my parents don't understand me. That's kind of like the vibe I was getting from yes. the top yeah. of the voiceover. But the art looked really cool, yeah. so I was like, I don't know, maybe we'll see. <laughs> um, Odd World Soulstorm got shown, and that's really cool. We have a relationship with Odd World, but I'm also like I'm so tired of those Odd World games. <laughs> it's whatever. Um, it looks cool. But I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really um, much of a fan of the Odd World games, but it's cool they're making another one. Mm-hmm. Um, this one uh, I was excited about last year. Last year during E3, there was a really exceptional um, Asian woman who was the producer of this game, and she was just the most charming best part about e3 last year she's left the game and left the project since but uh ghostwire tokyo looks badass as hell yes um you are in this weird diseased tokyo where people are just disappearing they're not dying they're disappearing Mm -hmm. and uh it's like a futuristic um uh sci-fi game but with a lot of like mystery elements in it i thought that game looked a lot like super hot I could see like that. Like a fleshed out super hot game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. Gotta have it. Um, there's some other one. <clears throat> uh there's some other games that were I mean uh Hitman 3, for example, got a lot of like a lot of coverage in the thing, but <clears throat> it's just not a franchise I've ever really cared about. I'm gonna go ahead and give us another five <laughs> minutes. I um uh, I ask- put down a maybe for Jet. Okay. I thought that one looked kind of cool, but I'm not sure about it, you know? I Honestly, I've kind of forgotten about it, so tell me some more about it, because you watched it today. I did, but I don't remember that one specifically. <laughs> oh, I think Jet was the one where you're building a civilization. Oh, okay. Like, you're on a planet, and, like, you have to build it, maybe? Okay. <clears throat> Is it like Spore, but you're a Jet? Yes. <laughs> no, it looked really cool, though. Let me see if I can find it in the there, list that Michelle sent us. That it's in there. Um, there's another. Yeah, the jet, the far shore. The world is shown as a dreary, but a rocket fires into space and shows a series of satellites that appear to hold some sort of future for the planet. Hundreds of years later, a small ship flies to a much more vibrant land. So it just seems kind of like a 
like we're gonna start over type of deal i don't know there wasn't a whole lot about it that's why i put a maybe beside it (laughs) um yeah that one didn't really interest me that's kind of why i skipped over it but yeah and if you guys have other games that i'm skipping over just go ahead and shout them out one of the ones I love that-, that Michelle is is burnt out on space games because of No Man's Sky. <laughs> Partly, but yeah. uh, honestly, yeah. Uh, I, uh, after Out of Worlds, I could take more. <laughs> like, um, yeah. The one that fucked me up the most though was Bug Snacks. Talking about Bug Snacks. Uh, that game is <laughs> fucking weird looking. That game looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're like this. Like it starts off as this cheery kids game, and then all of a sudden the strawberry comes to life, and then someone eats the strawberry, and then their arm becomes a strawberry, and it just looks like body horror porn. Yeah, it's mm. like uh, by the same people who I made Octodad. Made, so. I, I made an approving sound, but uh-huh. I meant to make that not sound. <laughs> I, meant that, I meant that to sound like ah. Uh, no, I think it came out as like. I think we just learned something about Jairus. Maybe he did I too. I want to eat a strawberry and become the strawberry. <laughs> I mean, the milk and the milk's in me. It's like the blueberry girl from Willy Wonka. God. Uh. Oh, yeah. Now you're talking. <laughs> Salt me up. I think I made the exact um, same I, comparison when uh, I mentioned. Oh, Thomas. really? That's yeah, great. Yeah, the Veruca Salt comparison. Uh, yeah, that, um, that song is charming. I love it. Yes, it is. Um,. But I'm probably not gonna play it. It looks it weirds me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought Solar Ash looked really cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's by the same people who made Hyper Light Drift. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, uh, it just looks cool. I thought the art was cool for it. So I remember looking at that. It looks like a 3D hyper uh, Hyper Drift, uh, Hyper Light Drift, mm-hmm. and I was like, cool. I'm down for that. That was a cool game. It looked like a great, uh, it looked like a great uh, cheaper game, like a budget game. Yeah. I was like, oh, if this is like 20 bucks, I'll definitely pick it up. Yeah. And then the other one that I really liked that I wanted to play was Little Devil Inside. Okay. I thought that game looked really fun. Yeah, that one looked pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. I, I kind of don't remember that one, to be honest. Damn it. You, you play. So, I mean, tell us about it. <laughs> Well, it's about, like, you have to watch the trailer for it, though, okay. to get it. I can't tell you about it. You have to just uh, it's the Matrix. feel Got it, it with your heart. <laughs> cool. Good podcast so, material yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you play as, like, a dude inside of this other dude, and the dude inside is, like, fighting fighting things, and I don't know. <laughs> He's just chip, chipping away at this this man's like insides, and then eventually he's, he's trying to oh. burst out. He's just it, oh my so, god! So it's it's the Tobias Funke book, the man inside of me. <laughs> yeah, I think so. God, I'll send you guys the, the trailer for it. It's really cool. So. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, because <laughs> we don't have that much time. Well, some of the other things I was really excited about was like uh, Demon Souls is getting remade. That's cool. I, I, um, I, I'm, sh- I'm sure Hutch wants to talk about Resident Hutch. Evil Village. God damn, Resident Evil Village, guys! <laughs> 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 man, so, oh man, that game's kind of leaked the existence of it. Um, so, but mm-hmm. even not knowing that, like, like what, what, how, how that game started out, like you, you knew what what it was. You knew that was an RE mm-hmm. engine game, mm-hmm. uh, and then eventually they flashed on a um an umbrella uh emblem i was like oh okay yeah that's, this is definitely what that is but it looks cool <clears throat> it's got werewolves and shit and so um you, you play as three protagonists in it which um nothing new for resident evil but still neat yeah. and um yeah it looks great they showed uh vampires and uh, just a bunch of like Victorian era like architecture in some of like the like his castle, I guess. Um, the uh, end uh, scene where it shows Chris Redfield like shooting up uh, the uh, Mia from RE7, um, who is the uh, uh, main character's wife at this point, I guess. Um, it's kind of crazy because it kind of it's painting him as a villain. Um, but I think yeah, that's that's just some trailer <clears throat> deception. So I don't know. We'll 
I'm interested, very interested to see more about that. Um, and it, the trailer opens with his story comes to a close, so they could be talking about mm-hmm. this could be Chris Redfield's last game. So, uh, so I will say my favorite thing about the Resident Evil franchise right now is how little they give a shit, and they're just like, let's think of a cool setting and let's make a game around that, and let's put Resident Evil label on it and put some characters people recognize and make a whatever story. But we're just making a whatever like scary game. It feels like I will say that <laughs> I thought that game looked really cool, and I normally don't have very much of an interest in the Resident Evil games. Yeah. Um, so when I saw it was a Resident Evil game, I was like, "Oh, Hutch is going to be really excited about this, probably." Mm-hmm. So, well, it looks awesome, and I like that. You know, for a while there, they were making sure that every sequel was like a direct sequel or had like some like mm-hmm. like it had to be a continuation or be in Raccoon City or whatnot. And I don't like how it's just kind of like, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to tell cool stories. I My um, one regret about all of the Resident Evil games is that they <laughs> took the city name Raccoon City mm-hmm. and now it can't be used for anything else because I would play a game called Raccoon City mm-hmm. where it's just a bunch of raccoons. Uh, like it's it's just a, a either Sim City, but mm-hmm. everything's a raccoon, or uh, you are a raccoon police officer roving the streets <laughs> dealing with trash crimes. You now know what? Fuck I it. Want, I think we still need that game. I want a pet raccoon now and I want to put it in little police officer. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they could call it Raccoon County. <laughs> wow. I was just about to suggest that Donut County sounds a lot like what that game is. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, for mm. the last game to talk about, um, uh, uh, D announced the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West, which looks really cool. Um, made me go, hmm, I should really play that game. I, kn- I wanted to, but Breath of Wild came out the same day. So, oh yeah, it wasn't happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they got like robot dinosaurs and shit. I was like, yeah, yeah that looks cool. I don't remember the first Horizon game, but this one looks pretty cool. Um, also, I so this one, I I thought Death Loop, oh, the yeah. advertisement itself looked really cool, but I'm not sure if the gameplay was as cool as the advertisement. No, I, no idea. But it's made by <laughs> uh, the same folks that uh, at Bethesda. I've just forgot what Arcane. the name of the other series name. Arcane, thank you. And it was uh, it was uh, well uh, well received games, but I like the art style. I like the nineteen sixties like mm-hmm. uh, it was look like of a it. movie type. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I like the concept of like two assassins constantly <clears throat> having to like seven. kill each other. Seven assassins. Yeah, they yeah, but there's mainly two. <laughs> yeah, they do the Dishonored games, so yeah, they do good stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, Pragmata, I uh, wanted to also mention that because that's a Kojima-ass game that's made by Capcom. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. And uh, it's giving me vibes of Astra's Wrath, which was also a Capcom joint. So if it's anything like that, I'm really excited for more insanity. Yeah, Capcom definitely came in and said, you know what, we're going to fucking do some cool-ass shit. Cap Capcom's uh, on just one. on their shit right now. They are. They are. They came back from like the brink, it feels like. All right. Well, with that, I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm excited about video games again. Who knew? Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, so we got a lot of cool stuff, hopefully happening this uh, this holiday season. And I'm sure we're going to have some more stuff to talk about as things go along but um yeah how did everyone feel about the playstation 5 thing like jairus are you excited at all after listening to us because you didn't watch it no i didn't um i'm uh, generally ambivalent i have a lot of other things on my brain before that i think the console looks pretty um i am I continue to be frustrated by design-led decisions to that mm. extent, mm. Uh, where it gets in the way of functionality and kind of caused me to go down like a, a spiral about <laughs> how the internet works uh, in my own head that I kept to myself uh, for the grace of our listener. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, I think it looks cool. It looks like there's some cool shit coming out, and, you know, I, I hope that I will live in a future where i can play some of those games that's fair i think that's all we can ask for wow Mm -hmm. that was a really bleak way for me to end that 
statement. You know, <laughs> you know, I liked it. Stay, stay, stay fast with your ambitions. Stay froggy. Keep on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to end it there. Stay you froggy know what? fresh. Bye, everybody. Bye. Smash like and subscribe. Froggy. A, gl- a glooming <laughs> peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow oh, will Jesus. not show its head. Go hence <laughs> to talk more of these sad things. Some shall be pardoned. Some shall be punished. For now, there was never a tale, a, a story of more woe than that this of Juliet and her Romeo. <laughs> <laughs>